G'day and welcome to this week's Frybat, Friday Beers and Tools. Yes, we're back to beer this week. I bought some new beers. This week we're trialling the Blue Moon Belgian White. Uh, Blue Moon, I haven't done any research yet, I'll do a little bit and put it up on the screen. Uh, I guess is an overseas beer. This is made on licence in Australia. It's described as a Belgian style wheat ale. Uh, it's brewed with coriander and orange peel. Okay. Happy Friday. different. I'm not sure how to describe it. It's quite a light ale, certainly not very heavy, although its alcohol content suggests otherwise. It's 5.4% uh, or 1.4 standard drinks in a stubby. I don't mind wheat beers. It's not my favourite, but it's um, not bad. Coriander and orange peel. Can't say that I can taste any coriander. I love coriander in a good laksa. I guess there is a hint of orangey sort of. Quite drinkable beer. Yeah, it's not bad. Something different. That's for sure. Very different to any other Australian beers that I've had before. What do I give it on my Spanner scale? Would I buy it again? Probably not. There's better beers out there. But it is something different. I can't... It's, it's a... I won't say it's a weird taste, but it's a different taste. Um, on my Spanish scale, two and a half out of five. Drinkable. Okay. This week we have a couple of uh, relatively cheap Amazon tools. <laughs> I know that's rare for me. Um, we have a set of soft jaws six inch soft jaws um, from Amazon. They are magnetically attached to your steel vise. Just get them out of the packet so I can show you. Magnets on the back. Uh, cross hatching on the face that you would mount things up to and of course they're rubber so they don't mar or mark your uh, particular work that you're working on. Being an old school techo, I was taught how to make soft jaws out of aluminium. Just a couple of, I don't know, probably one and a half mil aluminium and bent it up to the shape of my jaws. This, this is a, um, uh, for my eight inch vice, I think, memory, nine inch vice. Uh, 8 inch I think. Um, very handy for when you're doing, uh, when you want to hold something in a vise and you don't want to mar it. Uh, the steel jaws on a vise are very, very bitey. They leave lots and lots of marks. So very handy, easy to bend up for you young guys and girls out there setting out. You don't have to get spend money. These have a different purpose I guess uh, in that they're, they are rubber material probably more like urethane or something like that. Uh, and they're much thicker, of course. Um, would be really handy for alloy, uh, doing work on alloy that you were caring about the finish of. Um, they're not dear. Uh, these were $17.51 delivered from Amazon. Um, they have three magnets attaching on each side and they are, as I said, six inches long or 155 millimetres uh, long. Cheap, 
handy bit of kit to add to your toolkit. Are they any better than the old aluminium soft jaws? Well, as you saw, I just took them out of the packet, so I haven't used them yet, so I don't know. The aluminium soft jaws have served me well over the years. So, what do we think of the uh, Heredzi brand? I didn't mention that at the start, not that it really matters. Um, they are made in China for an Australian company, whoopie do. Uh, but they're cheap, $17.51. Um, Heredzi soft jaws. Let's start with value for money. $17.51. Certainly a lot dearer than a couple of uh, off-cut bits of alloy that you might uh, have sitting around, um, but slightly different use. Uh, I'll still leave them in my vise, they, they belong in the vise, uh, and also this being 6 inch, could use them in the 8 uh, inch vise, doesn't matter. Uh, value for money, $17.51, not a dear tool. Do you need them? No, you don't need them. You can make yourself some. Um, but. I can see that this would have some uses and uh, I had seen them before and some people are 3D printing them um, out of ABS plastic. That's also something I could do with the printer uh, but for $17.51 I thought I'd give them a go. Value for money, 5 out of 5. Functionality, well, they seem to be well made. Um, I guess time will tell how well they uh, wear in the vise. Um, I don't expect that they will live in the vise like my aluminium soft jaws do, but still, um, see how they go. Functionality, I think it's a solid uh, 4 out of 5. Um, I think it's going to be a useful addition to my toolkit. Alright, next small tool for this week is Yandiana brand, although this is marked tool zone, uh, also from Amazon. Where do they come up with the names of these companies? Um, Chinese made, I believe. Let me just double check that. Doesn't actually say where they're made. One would assume China or Taiwan. That's what they look like. It is a five piece set. What do they do? Let me open up the packet so I can show you. Uh, on a lot of vehicles, um, sump plugs or uh, uh, filler plugs on gearboxes, uh, transfer cases, um, often have a, um, a hole. In this case, a square hole. Uh, sometimes they're hex and they are various different sizes. Uh, manufacturer, car manufacturers love to do this so that uh, it um, dissuades home mechanics like me doing their own servicing uh, or means that you've got to go out and buy a specialist tool. Uh, the one thing I will give the Chinese credit for is making these type of little specialist tools they do it so cheaply, so easily, and so quickly. What sizes do they come in? Uh, they come in 14 to 17 millimeter hex. Need to put my glasses on. Double check the sizes as I go. Uh, they come in 10 to 12 millimeter. They're also laser etched on them, which is quite nice. How deeply is another question. Uh, so we've got uh, 10 to 12 hex. Uh, we also have 5 16th and 9 mil. Strange combination, but uh, yeah, both hex. Uh, then we get into the uh, 3 8th and 11 mil in square drive. I think square drive is more common on Japanese cars. And the last one is 8 to 13 millimeter square drive also.
cheap set, um, very handy to have in your toolbox if you're doing your own servicings. Uh, you can buy the individual sizes, so if you're just buying for the vehicle that you're that you're needing for, you can. But at the end of the day, this set was twenty four dollars eighty seven delivered from Amazon. Um, they don't need to be particularly strong, although some sump plugs are done up very tightly. Um, so I'm assuming that the quality is uh, good enough. Uh, I haven't checked them dimensionally, but I find that most of these type tools are actually pretty accurate nowadays. Uh, the Chinese companies that are making them have actually lifted their game with quality control um, and they're actually pretty good now. For $24.87, uh, value for money, do you need a set? No, probably not. If, you're, if you've got one car that you're working on, um, I, over my years, have worked on a number of different cars, So, um, and of course, sometimes I do work for mates, etc. So having a set, a five-piece set, at $24, 20, less than $25, uh, it's pretty good value for money, as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to give it a four and a half out of five beers for value for money. Um, for functionality, well, another specialist tool. You know how much I love my specialist tools. Um, given that it's a specific tool for a specific job, um, it's got to be a five out of five for functionality. Toolzone or Yandiana brand some plug removal set on Amazon right now. Radio, well that's it for this week's Frybat. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, please, usual, like, share and subscribe. Uh, make sure you are actually subscribing to my channel, please. Uh, I'm really trying to build the uh, subscriber numbers. Currently, I think I'm sitting at about 89% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribers. It doesn't cost you anything. Please hit the subscribe button. It certainly helps my channel along, and uh, and I can keep doing these frybats and the other projects that I do. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next week.